Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the new moon in Virgo reading for September 17th. So um, in this video, you're going to get the message from Spirit and we're going to find out what we need to know about this new moon. Now, the new moon is all about bringing things in. Um, I do have a 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities. So if you're ready to understand those crazy experiences, those crazy dreams, how to talk to your spirit guide, how to talk to angels, um, you know, get the message, read other people's energy, definitely you can join me starting October 1st in my 21 days to opening your psychic abilities. So you can check that out in the description box and the comments below. And let's see what we have for... This new moon. Ooh, nice. Okay. Looking good. All right. So, and let me know in the comments, like, what are you experiencing with this new moon? I'm experiencing a lot of purging. I feel like things are shifting. Things are changing. Um, a lot of clarity in the direction. So let me know if that's what, and we've got the overall energy for the new moon about the wheel of fortune. So this is about, you know, things are spinning, things are turning now, movement is happening, action is happening. So all about taking action here. We've got the Page of Cups, we've got the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Hierophant. So again, taking that time out to really kind of get clear with yourself, gain that clarity. So again, the new moon is about intention, so setting what you want in the next month, in the next three months, in the next six months maybe nine months, maybe 12, whatever that is, however far out you want to have these intentions. But it's about taking the time and stopping what you're doing and giving yourself that space and time to create this ritual with the Page of Cups here. And about your wish, like what are you wishing for? And really to commit to it. Commit to, you know, um, gratitude every day. Commit to what is going to make it possible for you to manifest things. But definitely setting the intention for the wishes that you have and committing to that. We also have the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Empress card. So I really feel about, this is about expressing your boundaries, taking action, making decisions. So whatever you're wishing for, whatever your intentions are for this new moon, it's about communicating and getting clear on that, first of all, and then deciding and figuring out like what steps do you have to take in order to have your wish come true. If you're trying to open up, say, like a new YouTube channel, right? Like you got to create the channel. So what is it going to be about? And it's about taking that space and time to really sit down and get clear on all of that and then taking the action to do it and then also setting the boundaries around your life so that you can fit that, fit what you really want in your life around what you have already. And sometimes that might mean getting rid of some other things that are filling your space with things aren't that aren't fulfilling you because you got the Empress card here too. So this is about self-love and self-care. And if we're constantly doing things just to make other people happy or doing things that we think make us happy just because we're stressed out and like maybe sitting in front of the television for an hour like feels like it makes us happy, yet on the end, like everything that you wanted to do that would really fulfill you, you didn't do, right? That's our ego and survival mode and all these subconscious beliefs. But it's about taking that time for you and cutting the things out that really don't fulfill you and replacing them with the things that do. Like what's gonna make you happier in the long run? Is it watching TV for an hour or is it going outside for a walk in nature, right? And our ego will tell us mm, it's watching TV. Like that's what it, that, yeah, that's where we wanna be. But in reality, we have to be the ones to make that decision to be like, you know what? That feels good right now, but I know at the end of the day, I know that I'm going to not be happy that I didn't go take my walk, okay? And we also have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Looking towards the future, looking in this crystal ball. Wherever you want to be a month, three months, six months from now, are you taking the action steps today to get you there? And if the answer is no, then what do you have to change in your life to be able to start to take these action steps? And like, let's get on the ball with that. Okay. Let's see, what other message do we have for this new moon? 
Is this resonating with you guys? Right, resonate in the comments if this is resonating with you. Yeah, so we've got the pause and observation. So the nine of wands here. So again, taking that time out. Same thing with the page of cups. Like taking that time out to observe what is going on right now and is it going to bring you closer to where your goal is and what your wish is. So take that time out. And then we also have decadence and indulgence, the cadence. And this is about, you know, for some of you, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I'm going to tell you, some of you are indulging too much in alcohol and drugs, um, you know, even maybe partying and not taking those steps to get where you want. So, oh gosh, guys, they're giving me a little tough love here, so I'm just going to say what they're giving me. Um, you can't complain about your life if you're not making the right decisions and taking the action steps to get to where you want to be. Um, they're also, I'm sorry guys, this is, sorry. <laughs> uh, they're also telling me that like you can't keep blaming others for your misery. So make sure that you're taking your power back. And no matter what has happened to you in the past, know that you can take that power back and know that you can have a life that you love again. We don't, um... We don't want you to let anybody, whatever they've done to you in the past, hurt you, abused you. Like that does not define who you are. And let go of any of this overindulgence that you're doing with any kind of thing that, again, you think is making you happy, but in the long run, it's really not. Okay. I'm just the messenger. Don't kill me. One more card here. <laughs> Yeah, unexpected revelation. So, ooh, so maybe that was just an unexpected revelation. <laughs> Three of swords. So definitely seeing things for what it is. Seeing things that, again, you thought were making you happy, but if you really deep down ask yourself and be honest with yourself, might not be making you happy. It's time to purge. It's time to purge that. All right, what other message do we have for the new moon? All right, so we've got two of the same agreements here. So out of the four agreements, we've got don't take anything personally. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally makes you prey for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. So don't, think, don't take things personally. Right, Because when you take them personally, whatever they say, you're going to feel as though it's your truth. And it's not your truth. Your truth is your truth and you know your truth. However, if somebody says something to you and you know, you're know you overindulging and you're not healing yourself and you don't have that self-worth, then you're going to believe what other people have to say about you. But what they have to say about you is not about you. It's about them. And again, don't take things anything personally. Embrace your freedom. And this says you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect your, you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. So again, don't take these things personally. And again, I'm going to go back to like, don't blame people. Don't um, sit in that victim mentality. Like, yes, things might have been done to you, but that doesn't mean that it affects your value. They did it because of them not because of you your truth is your truth and who you are and it does not you know anything that they've done to you or said about you does not define who you are so know your truth and speak your truth all right so i hope this resonates with you give me a thumbs up if you like this reading and again if you want to join my challenge three days to clear your blocks for manifesting that's in the description box and um, also have my 21 days course to opening and accelerating your psychic abilities. That's also in the description box. We start October 1st. All right. I hope to see you there. It's a lot of fun. Um, life changing, really, to be honest. So much love to all of you and have a wonderful new moon. Bye.